Yes, I have worked on uh, a number of interesting deposits. Um, I've spent about, say, a third of my time in mine geology and the other two-thirds in exploration. Uh, and this project is, uh, is quite special and it's an appointment I'm really enjoying because uh, it's one of those rare projects where you uh, may have a chance to uh, use both skill sets. Cascabel is not really like anything I've worked on. Um, it was definitely a world-class project. If we make a direct comparison with something similar to Alpala Central, um, then I would think we could use uh, Gulpu, Newcrest Gulpu, uh, porphyry deposit in Papua New Guinea as the example for that. Uh, if we consider the whole of the Cascabel tenement though, and consider the other uh, satellite targets that, that are starting to come into fruition, then you know, we could be drawing a comparison with something much larger. If we make a direct comparison with uh, the Goldpoo deposit, um, in comparing that to the Alpala Central deposit, both have a very similar geometry. It's looking like Alpala Central uh, could certainly grow into something of a, a Goldpoo size in nature. Now, if you go back to 2007, uh, the gold per resource was around 160 million tonnes. Um, and that's around the size of what we could be looking at currently um, at Alpala Central. Um, as you can see from uh, section and long section comparisons that we show in our corporate presentation at Roundup this year. Um, what we have though is only a fledgling volume because we've only drilled 13 holes and uh, we do expect it to, to grow as we start to close off the deposit on the north, the east, the south, the west and that depth. Currently it's open in almost virtually almost every direction. Um, now, between 2007 and 2015, the Goldpoo resource area expanded from that 160 million tonnes to over 500 million tonnes um, and became a giant, a well-known giant. Um, I don't think it's unrealistic to expect similar eventual results from uh, Alpala. Uh, I would also expect some major additions to come into that from some of the other prospects that we have in the tenement, like Aguanaga, Trevino, Alpala Southwest, Cristal, Alpala West, um, and possibly even others that we haven't yet discovered. Uh, Cascabel, to me, Cascabel is a real company maker and could well develop into not just one but a group of uh, producing mines in the future. Copper and gold grades, uh, interestingly, copper and gold grades are something that we can usually estimate visually from drill core uh, using a hand lens um, and a microscope in the core shed, but the lab results that we have on the project often come back with uh, unexpected surprises and we think that that's a testament to super fine microfracture style mineralization maybe disseminated mineralization um, that does seem a lot more evident uh, than what we'd first thought and uh, so areas that we have interpreted as being marginal to the mineralized hypotheses that we know of um, are still returning results of hundreds of metres of 0.5% copper, which in itself is uh, very significant. Um, we see in the drill core that copper persists from very early on in the uh, mineralisation cycle, uh, early B1 type quartz chalcopyrite magnetite veins, um, and it continues all the way through the cooling sequence to where we see copper mineralization even within late CD and D veins and veinlets. So it's a testament to the strength of the system and how much copper the system holds. And these are the kinds of systems that, that do uh, eventually uh, become uh, resources held in uh, high regard by the world's largest mining houses.